1G, 2G, 3G, 4G, 2 plus 2 equals, hold on a second, 2 plus 2G, 2G, 4G, 4 grapes, 4 garbage cans, 1G, 2G, 3G, hmm, 3G, 4G, 4G LTE, there's been a lot of talk about 4G networks across the nation, across different carriers as well, whether it be AT&T, Verizon Wireless, T-Mobile, they're all talking about 4G, even people are talking about 4G, so what exactly does it mean? My name is Louis Bertolucci from LionWedge.net, and I'm here today to talk a little bit more about Verizon Wireless's 4G LTE network within the Louisville community. Recently, within the past week, um, I've heard rumblings that the 4G LTE network was actually available within a strip of the Louisville downtown area. So what I'm going to do today is hopefully maybe do some field tests, just to kind of do some, a couple of speed tests, just to see how quick the network is. Just to put it in perspective, let's talk about 3G and let's talk about 4G. Now, there's two differences between the two. And that's the number one. So three plus one is four at a G. That's four G. The difference between the two is three G and four G equals negative one G. Jeez. Anyhow, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the four G LTE network. And what that allows is mostly for mobile devices, computers, but mostly mobile devices and mobile cell phones to connect and download a little bit quicker. In layman's terms, that's pretty much what it says. Um, so today what I do have to conduct a couple speed tests throughout is the Samsung hotspot, which is 4G LTE capable, and 3G as well. As you can see here, it makes a great pirate patch. As you can see here, it makes a great eye patch for a pirate. Or you can connect it to five devices with it. What I also have here is the Apple iPad. No surprise here, it's been out for a little bit now. I don't have an iPad 2. Um, I do just have the standard iPad. So what we're gonna do here is test a couple of connections with this as well to run a couple speed tests off of it. I don't think so. I'm going back to Cali, Cali, Cali. I'm going back to Cali. I don't think so. <sighs> All right, y'all. Or as Paul D would say, hey, y'all. Anyhow, as I conducted the field test study, I just got back from that. So I tested out several different places throughout the Louisville area, and I was a bit disappointed. All right, stop the presses. Stop right there. All right, guys, got one more quick thing to talk about. I know yesterday I did do some trial and some field tests outside, um, but today uh, what I want to do is do our second round of field testing. And I did say yesterday that I'll be back like the Terminator. That was a terrible joke again. Uh, no, nonetheless, what we're going to do here is I'm doing a second round of field tests here to, to really see if we're going to get true results again. Again, yesterday I wasn't sure if there was maybe something with the server that I selected on the speed test results. Um, I did notice uh, that potentially today that there was one that was pinging off of Wichita, Kansas, which I'm not exactly for sure why. Um, it could be that these two devices were actually borrowed devices from Verizon Wireless, so therefore they're probably pinging off of one was yesterday from Chicago, which I think was an issue, and then the other one was from Wichita, Kansas, which was today. So I did switch over the servers for the ping test just to kind of see if we can get some true results. So hold on a moment, and we're going to do a couple results, and uh, well, actually a couple tests, I mean, to really see where we stand on these um, field tests. So day two, true results. Let's see if we can get it done. All right, we're going to go on ahead and begin the test. We actually changed this over to the preferred server uh, because it looks like our previous server was actually in Wichita, Kansas, and we're not even close to that anymore, Dorothy. So uh, let's go on ahead and run it with the new server, which is in Indiana, and see what kind of results we get. All right, so it looks like we got download speeds of almost 11 and then upload speeds about 13.7. Um, let's check out the iPad real quick and see what kind of results we can get with it.
So it looks like we're about 8.9, almost 9 megabits per second and about uh, 2 megabits per second upload speed. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's check it out and, and let's pull up a quick website here. Maybe um, we'll pull up LimeWedge.net, which is my website here. And as you can see, the loading of the image is very quick here. And this hasn't been cached just yet. So let me try to pull up um, an image rich item. So let's check out the Welcome Beyond architecture. All right, as you can see, there's a ton of graphics on this particular page here and they just pull up in absolutely no time. Um, let's try one other thing. Let's try to, let's go to YouTube real quick and see what we can get. Everybody's favorite song. And as you can see here, we are streaming very, very quickly. Well, <clears throat> as I spoke too soon. Looks like it's just buffering it out just a minute. All right, so it looks like we're able to stream relatively quickly. Um, there are some buffering issues here, uh, just kind of pulling up the video initially. All right, pause that for a second. Let's move on over to the iPad. Um, try to get some results here. Sorry guys, you can see my reflection there. And what we're gonna do is let's go on over to YouTube and see how quickly we can stream off of there. Let's pull up this one real quick. The Evolution of Dance. And I've actually got the video down, so. Or the volume down. As you can see, it's streaming very, very quickly. I mean, no buffering issues as of right now with at least the iPad. A couple issues with the, um, the laptop, but nothing dramatic there. I mean, it's still pulling the content relatively quickly. All right, we're going ahead and pause that, minimize it. Are you done over there with the speed test? Awesome. All right, folks, so there you have it. Um, we did a second round of field testing here. Um, this one is pretty much in the same location of where we tested that last time, except for this time, uh, we switched up a couple things, tweaked the servers, uh, so they're a little bit more in the vicinity. So um, as you can see here, it looks like a couple of our results, just to kind of do a quick review on our second field test. Uh, we're getting download speeds about 8.9 megabits per second and upload speeds about 2.7. Um, and then also on the laptop here, we're getting download speeds about 10.91, upload speeds about 13.7. So that's pretty quick. And actually, when I had a different server here um, in Merrillville, Indiana, um, earlier in the day, I, I was doing tests throughout the day just to kind of make sure there was some consistency there. Um, I actually got upload speeds of 23 megabits per second. I'm sorry, download speeds of 23 megabits per second. And then also upload speeds of about 6.51, but then that also jumped around to about 14 upload speed uh, megabits per second as well. So um, I'm going to kind of scratch yesterday's test results. It seems like that those were a little less consistent because uh, the variables just weren't aligned right there. We we're using some servers in Chicago, which wasn't uh, nearly what we should have been using. So nonetheless, here's our second take at the field test with the Verizon Wireless 4G LTE network in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, take it as it is. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns, and maybe we can do some more testing um, as the rollout starts to occur uh, down the road. Thanks. All you need is a black t-shirt, and now the magic begins.